All right, greetings, lads. Welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna explain a few things and I'm gonna fuck off. <sighs> yeah, I just woke up. I'm kind of fucked. I'm still drinking my protein shake. I ordered some nice stuff in it. It's like uh, golden standard whey or some shit. I'm drinking it for the first time after five fucking years. It's good. Let's not try to destroy anything else, so... Welcome! Today we shall talk about how should beginners program their trainings. Now, there's a lot of misconception around and I want to clear these those things out and kind of make my own opinion on it, or rather how it helped for me. Because three years ago I was too a beginner and yes, it was three fucking years ago. That's not a lot of... that's not a long time that's really fucking short actually like i i'm currently an advanced lifter after only three years of lifting so i look at that as a big achievement achievement for myself now when i started i was running on a simple five by five build star program and i hear about this program everywhere you heard about that program everywhere everybody tells you do uh, push and pull five by five and you're good to go as a as a beginner that's truly the case that's truly is the case like i did that for a full year and i got all those foundation gains that i needed and then after that i bought myself a coach i went in, into a bit specialized detailed training and after that i was good to go so yeah, I would suggest a 5x5 five five build star program, it worked for a lot of fucking lads and I think, or I'm pretty sure it'll work for you too. Now, after that, of course during the period of this training with this program you also want to research, but how should you research? Now, this is a big thing that a lot of people really fuck up. A lot of people tend to look upon a elite world star lifter they look upon his training and they say okay if it works for him it'll probably work for me let's train like he does well that's not how it works that's not how things fucking work like people should understand that in order to gain optimal amounts of strength or definition or anything that you're looking for you need to train as your level so let's say you're a novice. You can't train as an intermediate if you're a novice. If you are intermediate, you cannot train as an elite lifter. You can't. Because you are intermediate. You're not an elite fucking lifter. So that's a big fucking problem. Because your, your body will gain. Of course your body will gain. I mean, that's one of my biggest fucking... Let's say theories. Whatever the fuck you do, your body will gain. But what are we trying to do here? Are we trying to gain one kilogram of muscle in five months? Or are we trying to gain one kilogram of muscle per week? So you tell me, what is the optimal for you? What's the best scenario for you? Of course it'll be one fucking kilogram per week. How do, you, how do you do that? Well... You train as the level you're at. You find, if you're a beginner, you find a program for a beginner. And you train as a beginner. Now, after some time, when you progress, when you get your shit straight, when you start training, when you get the foundations, when you, everything is done, then you can progress. So if your strength numbers are looking like a intermediate lifter, you start training as an intermediate lifter. If your programs are looking like a novice lifter, you start training as a novice lifter. If, you're, if you start as a beginner, of course. So, these things are really fucking basic, yet everybody completely ignores. So that's a big issue, and I think you will have a really easier time in the world of lifting, or getting stronger, or getting def more defined, if you knew this simple little detail. So do not waste your time watching those articles made by soy boy fucking shitheads 
talking how Eric Spoto with the arm of, of, of 23 fucking inches with the triceps bigger than my fucking head is working his triceps and then saying okay I, maybe I should work my triceps as he, as he does and then after five fucking months I'm not getting any fucking gains so let's be fucking realistic let's be fucking logical let's get as much as we can from a realistic approach we are madmen we are fucking crazy i know that but let's not be stupid being crazy has its benefits has its benefits actually i don't know any negative thing about being crazy except maybe not being accepted into society but who gives a fuck because society is weak as shit anyways so it doesn't really fucking matter. Train smart and hard and heavy. That's how you'll get results. Now, I went a bit off of course. I would I was a bit like over around the subject, but that's basically how a beginner should program their training. They should be simple about it. They should acquire a simple program for a beginner. They should research and with that they should of of course be dedicated determined and hard and hard working fucking fellow lifter without hard work without the uh, dedication without determination you will not get anywhere and that's my promise to you no fucking steroid will get you anywhere without work you can get on steroids and literally not do anything or maybe work once a week and you what what the fuck will you get nothing because that's not enough your body will need more the steroids will give you that feeling of needing more but you won't give more because you don't like the work so you won't get fucking shit so that's that's basically it i am really feeling good i'm really feeling good like this these couple of mornings are the first mornings in my life that i'm feeling actually fucking glorious and it's because I can finally start competing now. That is one of my biggest dreams. Especially my favorite federation as well. So I'm currently waiting for the 24th of October. So I can go and uh, compete on my bench competition. Meet. Powerlifting meet. I would go powerlifting only or a full power. But... Uh, my lower back is injured and which makes my deadlift look like a rounded back fucking retard who just started training so i cannot allow myself to go there and make such a fucking retard out of myself on my first meet not to mention my squats are still weak for my body weight i should be squatting like 240 kilograms 50 kilograms but instead i'm not even on 200 currently so there's a lot of work to do so i'm gonna end this video right now and i want you, let's once again summarize what we learned today as a beginner you should acquire a simple program made for a beginner you should research in a way that you understand that you cannot lift as elite world lifters but acquiring the knowledge of foundation of, of certain exercises is always good for you so once your coach one day gives you a more detailed approach to training, you're not like, what the fuck are these exercises? What the fuck does it mean to go slower negatives or faster positives? What the fuck does it mean? So make your research. It will help you a lot. And of course, stay fucking focused and determined and dedicated. And that's pretty much it. Like those three things are how a beginner should start. And you're good to go, my guy. You're good to go. So, I'm gonna end this video now. I'm gonna finish my drink. And I'm gonna have a good fucking day. And I want a good fucking day for you, too. I wanna eat plenty, sleep deep, and lift heavy. And let's fucking go, my guy! Let's go!